Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here and if that's the case, I'm really glad to have you here. For today's video, we're going to be doing a review and demo of the Isle of Paradise self-tanning drops. I showed you guys these in my February favorites video that I posted very recently. I'll link below if you haven't seen that yet, but so many of you asked for a separate dedicated review on Isle of Paradise drops to show you how to apply them, the whole experience before and after. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing here today. And I do have all three of their shades, light, medium, and dark, and I will show you all of them after so that you can see how they compare and hopefully figure out which one you would like the best for yourself. So if you want to hear my thoughts on Isle of Paradise self tanning drops and figure out the best color for you, you have come to the right spot. We're going to jump right into that. Before we do, if you are new here, my name's Abby and I'm obsessed with all things beauty. So whether that is reviewing new products like this and sharing them with you guys, or just researching skincare and hair care like a complete nerd and sharing everything that I find. I love to do all of those things and if that's of interest to you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Those things also really help to support me and make sure that my videos are recommended to others, so thank you so much for doing that. Also make sure to go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Username is right here. It's Abby Young on all of my platforms. And that is everything, so let's jump into this video. Before we jump into it, these products were sent to me by Isle of Paradise, but there was no requirement to post a video for them, no money exchange, so this video is not sponsored. Just got some product and PR from them, so thank you very much to them for sending these over, but you guys know that does not influence my thought on a product Ever. It just makes it easier for me to upload more videos for you guys. All right, let's quickly talk about some product details before we actually apply them so that we know what to expect. So I have their website pulled up here. Again, they are called their self tanning drops. They say they're vegan friendly, cruelty free, organic, and for the face and body. They have one fluid ounce of product in these bottles and they retail for $29. On their website, what else do they say? Again, suitable for both face and body, that they have coconut, chia seed, and avocado oil in them. They can be mixed with oil, serum, moisturizer, and even foundation, and the more that you drop, or the more drops that you add, the more you glow, or the darker that you get. And again, they have three different shades available, so they have light, that's dark, medium, and dark. And apparently there's something slightly different going on with the ingredients in each of these. At least that's what the brand claims. So for the light self tan drops, they say they have a peach color correcting active to brighten the skin and create perfect light sun kissed glow. This is ideal for anyone who is new to tanning or paler skin tones that would prefer a lighter glow. The medium drops say that they have green color correcting actives to cancel red tones and give the perfect medium golden tan. This shade is their best seller. They say it's universally flattering and enhances all skin tones. And then the dark drops say they have violet color correcting actives to give the ultimate dark bronze. This works perfectly on darker skin tones or for anyone looking for a deeper tan. And I'm obviously not a chemist, so I'm not developing self tanners. I don't know what the difference would be between those color correcting actives and how much of that is actually true versus them just being different shades at the end of the day. I've of course tried all of these and can say that they definitely do develop to different levels of depth or darkness, but that's probably as far as I would go. I don't know that I noticed any difference as far as the peach versus green versus violet, but maybe you guys will feel differently when I show you the after clips. And then last thing I wanted to bring up about the ingredients in these is actually why I choose to not apply them to the skin on my face. So I know I'm asked a lot, all the time actually, what self tanner I use on my face, probably just because of how much I talk about self tanner and I don't apply any self tanner to my face because I still have yet to find one that is fragrance and essential oil free, including these as well. So they do have several different forms of essential oils like grapefruit peel, peppermint oil, eucalyptus leaf oil, sage oil, synthetic added fragrance. And again, while that doesn't irritate the skin on my body, something like this would really, really sting and burn and give me that hot, fleshy face that is no fun to deal with. So that's just a personal choice for me. You can absolutely apply these to the face if you would like to, and if those ingredients don't cause sensitivity for you. Go for it, but I just personally don't. All right, now let's jump into application and before and after. So I'll just show you guys right here how nice and pasty and frosty looking I am before. For reference, oh man, I'm so pale naturally. It is the worst. I think my brother beats me, but otherwise I am the palest in my family. Like my youngest sister, Libby, she's probably five shades darker than me, I swear. It's not fair. All right, I'm pulling up my tan tracker here. Yes, I literally made a note in my phone called tan tracker. 
so that I wouldn't forget details like this because I'm going to be doing another self-tan showdown soon. Stay tuned for that. But I needed to make sure that I really remembered everything that I did for these reviews. So I'm consulting my tan tracker. So I applied 16 drops of this in total and I will break down in a second how many I applied to different sections of my body. But I know that they said two to 12 max. Keep in mind, I'm almost five foot 11. So I definitely have more body than the average person to cover. So whenever I see things like that, I do know that I typically need to add a little bit more in order to get the even depth of color that I want. So here is how I broke this down. I applied three drops to each leg, three drops total to both of my arms, so one and a half drops per arm, two drops for my mid to lower back, one drop for my upper back, and then pulling that forward to my shoulders. Then I applied two drops to my stomach, two more drops for my decollete area, so chest, neck, front of shoulders. So I just took my Vanna Cream Light Lotion that I've been using on the body and used that to mix with these drops. I think that that was a really, really nice lotion to pair with these because it is a little bit lighter weight and easier to mix. You guys may know that my favorite, favorite, favorite body moisturizer for self-tanner is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. It's thick. It's, oh, it feels so, so good, but it's not too heavy to where it's gross and greasy and sticky. It's perfect and it really helps to preserve my tans. But for something like this, I would recommend using a lotion that's a little bit lighter weight than that because it's a lot easier to mix together and spread evenly on the body so that you don't end up with a splotchy mess, which is what happened to me once when I tried to use that Cetaphil cream. And then a couple other things about the actual application process, aside from the number of drops that I would definitely recommend thinking about is number one, just focusing on major sections of your body separately one at a time versus trying to do this all at once. Because if you do that, it's really easy to either use too much product or an uneven amount of product. So maybe you'll have too much on your arms and not enough on your legs and have really uneven color. So I just focused on first my stomach, then my arms, then my legs and did all of those separately. So I would apply the amount of lotion that I needed for just that section, use the number of drops that I felt that I needed based on the size of the section and then apply like that. And that really helped make sure that I got nice, even color. And then the other thing again, is that you do really wanna make sure you're being precise with this. So I was very, very careful about where I was applying this and was really paying attention to where that lotion was going to make sure that there was nothing left dry on any part of my body. So just be really mindful of that, really pay attention, make sure that you're not missing any spots because that is something that could be really easy to do as well without really noticing it at first. So here is what the light shade looks like after applying. I think it developed to a really nice subtle color. Definitely not dark enough for me to want to use again with that amount of color. I would definitely use more drops because if I'm applying self tanner, I want to look tanner than that. Otherwise it's like, what is the point? I may as well just stay tan. So if you're even more fair than me, I think that this could be a really great option or what you could do with it. If you really like something that's lighter and more natural, if you are pasty like me, but you want it a little bit darker is to just use more drops. But again, still be careful with application and really make sure that you are evenly applying this all over the body. Okay, now let's jump over to the medium shade. So again, I applied this in the same way that I did for the light shade. And as far as the depth of color, I think that this is my perfect wintertime self-tan shade because it's not as obvious that I have self-tanner on. I mean, it still is obvious for those that know me really well and know how pale I am, but it's not so dark that it looks like I just came back from vacation or I've been in a self-tanning bed not doing that. You know what I mean versus in the summer if I'm wearing a really dark self tanner, I feel like that's less obvious because everyone's getting a sun-kissed glow. And here in Minnesota, I'm not getting a tan in the winter and everyone knows that. So I really like the medium shade for that winter time, early spring, late fall. I think it's really, really nice. And again, the color developed nice and evenly. I didn't have any concerns with splotchiness. I think it looked really, really good. And finally, the dark shade. Again, no changes here to how I apply this, but this gets so, so nice and dark, which I love for the summer because again, I do not lay out in the sun at all. So I just always feel more comfortable in the summer in short shorts or a swimsuit with a little bit of a tan. Again, that's just me personally. Of course, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with just rocking your natural skin tone. I wish that I felt comfortable doing that, but I am not there yet. Maybe someday. 
not yet so this helps me i just love a good tan you guys okay so now that you guys have actually seen all three of the colors in action let's wrap up with some of the other things that i always like to go over for my self tan reviews like smell and how well they fade and how long they last so ease of application so easy 10 out of 10 five stars in my opinion if you're used to applying self tanner with a mitt it's just a little bit of a learning curve at first but once you do it one time and you feel comfortable with it I think it's less of a hassle than applying self tanner with a color guard and a mitt and then you're walking around all day like this in shorts and a t-shirt trying not to get yourself tanner on anything else. I just hate that. So this is my personal favorite self tanner application process yet out of any self tanner that I've tried. Unfortunately though, this is definitely not free of that self tanner stink or self tanner BO like I like to call it. So it does smell while it's developing and for me you can still kind of smell it the next day even after you rinse it off. It's not until the second day that I feel it's fully gone and no lingering stink is hanging around. I will say that it's not nearly as intense as some other self tanners that I've tried, so definitely not the worst of the worst when it comes to the smell, but it's not one that is free of self tanner BO, unfortunately. But aside from that, I actually think everything else is a positive too, so it lasts a good six to seven days on me, which is pretty standard for self tanner. The only self tanner I think that I have tried that lasted significantly longer was the Coco and Eve self tanner, and I will list my review in my description box below on that product if you haven't seen that yet that was lasted so long was so so dark that's a fun self tanner but a good six to seven days with this product and it also fades really really well so i'll show you guys here i believe this was on day six after wearing the medium self tan drops obviously you can tell the color is not nearly as dark but it's fading so nicely there's no splotchiness or streakiness and that is definitely something that i have issue with with other popular self tanners like loving tan for example that starts to streak so weird on me in my arm region here i don't know why oh and then last thing that i almost forgot before we wrap this up is that these do not stain or transfer for me onto sheets or clothes i know a lot of people hate that myself included and thankfully because these don't have a color guard you're not gonna wake up with a gross self tan stain on the bed and that is officially everything that i wanted to cover for this review so i would definitely recommend isle of paradise drops i think no matter what color you go with depending on your skin tone and what you're trying to achieve i don't think you can go wrong but overall it's such a no hassle way to get a nice self tan on unlike the hassle of some other self tanners so would definitely recommend for that reason if you just can't be bothered with the mousse and the mitt let me know in the comments below if you have tried these drops already and what your thoughts are on them or if you're interested in trying them now after watching this video if so i will list all three of these shades in my description box below and let me know is there a different self tanner you're using right now that you're obsessed with or a self tanner you want me to showcase in my next self tan showdown I'm open to it. Let me know. And again, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for your support and for doing that. It seriously means so much. But other than that, my next video will be up in a few days. So stay tuned for that. And until then, I hope you have a great few days.